Thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Today, let's talk about a very common question in geometry, and that is, how do we find the distance from a point to a line? And let's just work with the 2D case. The 3D case is very similar. You can try that later on. First, though, let's say the equation for this line is ax plus by is equal to c. And in fact, here, we don't want the line to be horizontal, and we don't want the line to be vertical, because otherwise, to find the distance is very easy. You can try it on your own. So right here, let me include the condition that a and b are not equal to zero. Now, the distance from a point to a line is defined to be the shortest distance. And in order to do so, we will start with the point and then we drop a perpendicular like so. And this is the distance that we are looking for. Now, how do we do it? I will show you guys how we can use vectors to help us out. First, we are going to pick a point on the line anywhere. Let's just put a point right here. I will call this x0, y0, or x0, y0, depending on how you want to say it. Then, we want vectors. Let's create a vector from here to here. Let's call this vector u. And let's see how u looks like. u is just going to be, since we go from here to here, so the component form will be x1 minus x0, and then y1 minus y0. Done. OK, so we have one factor. Now what though? This is, of course, not perpendicular at all. And this length is for sure longer than that. So the first question is, how can we make sure we have a perpendicular? Well, the answer for that is the slope. So have a look at this equation again. We can move this to the other side, and we get by equals negative ax plus c. Divide everybody by b. y is negative a over b, x plus c over b. From here, we see the slope is just negative a over b. And you can look at this picture. You can just think about it as this. Assuming a and b are positive, then you can think about it as we go down a times and then we move to the right b times to get this line right here. Now to get the perpendicular, let's say we are going to start right here and we will create another factor. This factor will be normal to the line perpendicular. And it will look like this. And I will call this factor v. And the component form for that is just going to be what? Earlier, we go down a times and then we move to the right b times. Now, we just have to do a comma b. In another word, go up b times and then go to the right a times. It's just the reverse for that, right? And also the opposite side. So the slope of this is b over a. The slope of the line is negative a over b, yeah? Here, we are going to find the distance. All we can do is just copy this down right here, like this. And in fact, there's a special name for it. When you go from u, and then if you just drop a perpendicular like this, this part is called the projection of u onto v. But I'm not going to get into too much detail on that. If you want to see the detailed explanation to do such thing, you can check out my other video for that. Link will be in the description. But I'm just going to call this the distance that we want. Now, we have two factors, u and v. And this right here is considered the angle between these two factors. So you see that we have a what? We actually have a right triangle. Because this right here is perpendicular. And then as I said, we just make a perpendicular. So this is the same as that. We have a right triangle. So how do we find this length? This is the adjacent, this is the hypotenuse. So we just have to use cosine to help us out. So have a look. The distance is just going to be, we will just have to do cosine times this length, right? Cosine of that angle. And this is the factor. The length of it is denoted by the absolute value. And that's called the magnitude of the factor. It's just the length. And then we multiply by cosine 
of the angle between them, and that's cosine theta. Now, here's the little thing I would like to tell you though. Is it possible for us to have an angle bigger than 90 de degree? And the answer is yes. Here's the deal. If you look at the factor u and v in this case, of course the angle has to be acute. But if you have a line right here, and if you have a point on the other side, let's say this is x1, y1, and then this is the point. The perpendicular factor is still going to look like this. So when you do the angle between them, this angle will be bigger than 90 degrees. This is not good. Because if the angle is bigger than 90 degrees, cosine of an angle between 90 and 180 will give you a negative value. But it's okay, because if you want to just find the distance, just apply the absolute value. And it's going to work the same, because you can still drop a perpendicular, you'll find this distance, same thing. Now, how can we figure out the angle theta so we can work this out? Well, the answer for this is the dot product. And let me write the note right here for you guys. When we do the dot product of u and v, this is the same as the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times cosine of the angle between them. And this right here is actually just a consequence from the law of cosine. And I do have a video on this. So if you want to check it out, the link will be in the description. So we can just divide these two things to the other side and we can figure this out. And we see the distance will be the absolute value of the magnitude of u times this and that, the dot product of u and v, divided by this and that, the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. And we see this and that cancel. So the distance is just going to be u dot v, and we know u is equal to this right here. And we can write that down x1 minus x0, y1 minus y0, and we do the dot product of v, which is just ab. And we still have to maintain the absolute value because the result of this could be negative. And then we divide it by the magnitude of the vector v. And this is never negative. Okay, the dot product of this and that is just the first component times the first component plus the second component times the second component. So we will have a times x1 minus x0 plus b times y1 minus y0 still maintain the absolute value over. To find the magnitude of a vector, we first take the square root and then we are going to square each component and then we'll just add them up. So we will have a squared here plus b squared. And then for the inside, just do the regular algebra. So we have the absolute value here, ax1 minus ax0 plus by1 minus by0 over that. Okay, pretty good, but still anything that we can simplify. Yes, have a look right here and also right here. We can first factor our negative, so we get negative, and then we'll just get ax0 plus by0. Hmm, what can we do with this? x0, y0, it's on this line, which means if we plug in x0, y0 into this equation, we will get ax0 plus by0 equals this number, which is the number c. So this right here is just equal to c. So finally, this is equal to the absolute value of ax1 plus by1. This and that together gives us the minus c and then we have this over square root of a squared plus b squared and ladies and gentlemen this right here is a very nice formula to find the distance 
from a point to a line. Now, I actually have a very nice question for you guys. But before I show you the question, let me tell you about our sponsor today, Brilliant.Work. Brilliant is the best online learning platform that helps you excel in math and science. They have over thousands of interactive lessons, ranging from basic math to advanced calculus. No matter if you want to learn basic topic from scratch or just to enhance your problem-solving skill, they got you covered with interactive lessons. You can learn important concepts such as factors. You will master the basics of factors operations and understanding factors can help you visualize and solve complex problems in multi-dimensional spaces. This is the kind of learning resource that I wish to have when I was in high school. So I'm recommending it to you. Now you can even try Brilliant for free for 30 days. Use the link in the description, brilliant.org slash blackpenrepen, and you can also get a 20% off discount. I want to thank Brilliant for sponsoring this video, and I also want to thank you guys for checking out.